Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the pond lab. So let's have a look at some of the things we'll be doing. We're going to be taking on some diving bell spiders, some cave teas and ARCRs. We'll be digging up some sunken bones and some muddy koi fish scales. I'll show you how to gain access to the pond lab. And as an added bonus, I'll show you where to find the mossy key to open the sunken chest. As well as that, I'll be showing you the location of three scabby pieces, as well as the toxicology badge. So, let's dive right in, if you'll excuse the pun. So the first thing we're going to be doing is getting our diving equipment. If you've already got yours and you want to get straight to the lab, then I've left some timestamps in the description below, so you can jump straight to that. So, we just picked up some lily pad wax, and now we're getting some pebblets, because we're going to make the pebblet dagger which can be used for chopping or attacking things underwater. So we'll definitely need that. And we'll peep a tadpole there. The next thing we're gonna need is some eelgrass strands. We'll need a lot of those. So if we swim down to the bottom with our pebblet dagger, we can chop some of those. And we're getting attacked by a diving bell spider. So let's peep him. Head up for some air before we fight him. We will definitely want to kill at least one of these because analyzing the diving bell spider chunks gives us a recipe for the bone dagger and the bone trident, which we will need later on. And if you'll notice, I've only got 9 seconds of breath left, but once I've killed him, I've got 39 seconds. So I actually got his oxygen uh, to give me an extra 30 seconds of breath. So we'll get some more eelgrass strands and we'll peep a water flea. The next thing we'll need is water boatman fins. There's one there. Now despite clearly having two fins, I've only ever gotten one fin from each water boatman, which means we'll need to kill four of them in order to make the fin flops. That's two, three, and four. So we'll head back home and go to sleep. Don't forget to analyze everything you've picked up. And like I said earlier, analyzing the diving bell spider chunk gave us a recipe for the bone dagger and the bone trident, amongst other things. At least it's clean. So now we've got everything we need to make the gill tube and the fin flops that makes us swim faster one more thing we'll need is a light so we'll need some slime mold stalks for that i did actually make a mistake here i wanted to make a slime lantern but somehow ended up making a slime mold torch instead it's not the end of the world they're just not as bright and don't last as long but it'll do so we're back at the pond, we're heading out to the northeasternmost lily pad and where you can see those bubbles coming up, that's where we're going to dive down. So follow the bubbles all the way down and you'll find a broken pipe. These bubbles do actually replenish your oxygen so make sure you swim through them if you can. We'll get our light and we'll go all the way down to the ground you'll need your acorn shovel because we're going to be digging up some sunken bones like this one and we'll also be looking for some koi fish scales there we go so if you want to make the koi fish armor set you'll need some of those there are quite a lot down here so make sure you do have a good look around some raw signs here, we've discovered the sunken T-Rex. And if you swim into his mouth, you'll find the rotten stinger spear. So make sure you pick that up as well. Don't forget to keep going back for breath. It's quite easy to get carried away digging around down here. There's quite a lot to find. So let's analyze the bits we picked up. The sunken bone. The rotten stinger spear 
and the koi fish scale. That's unlocked the koi fish armor set. Perfect. And back at home, we've got everything we need to make the bubble helmet. It does cost uh, five sunken bones, so make sure you don't leave the pond without getting at least five bones. And now we've got that, we'll be able to hold our breath much longer. So we're swimming all the way back down exactly where we were before, but we're going to carry on swimming straight this time. We want to get caught in these currents to push us along a little bit faster. And over here, there should be a door with some raw science in front of it. So we'll want to swim through there, take a right, and just ignore these two chests for now. You'll want to scan your hand on this biometric scanner. It does take quite a while to open, so you don't want to run out of breath. Make sure that's the first thing you do. And that opens this door, and you can surface here. So, over here on this table, we've got a tape and a rotten Each slime lantern. Family, yours truly, looks at and we've got a document over here. With utter and we'll want to pull this lever. You'll see the three symbols on the wall. That indicates three dials that we need to turn, and those dials are located outside this lab. So we'll need to go find them. Empty that chest. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. And through this door, there and is an ARCR, which I haven't peeked yet. I'm just fighting him with the ant club. Here we go. So in here on the left, there's some fibre bandages and a document on the bed. You might want to set your respawn point here if you want. Some silk rope, quartzite and marble in that chest. And there's a workbench there if you need it. So this door is locked for now, so we'll need to swim back out and go find those three dials. So if you keep swimming straight out of here, just a little bit further, follow these pipes along, just behind this one. There should be an opening here, so swim through there. And up here to the right, if we swim to the end of this corridor, there is a scabby piece. I believe it's the frostbite scheme. And if we rummage through these bones, we'll get the toxicology report, the toxicology badge, and the suspicious snapshot four. So in this room is dial number one. We'll want to turn that. And in the corner over here, there's a milk molar hidden behind some soggy root, but we can't get to it yet. We've only got the pebblet dagger, which is tier 1, and we'll need a tier 2 dagger to cut through that, which is the bone dagger. So we'll need to come back for that. So swimming back out now, we'll go over to dial 2. This one's probably the easiest one to find. It's right out here in plain sight. So we'll turn that. And if we swim over to these yellow lights over here, we'll find the third dial along with some diving bell spiders. Okay, so that's unlocked the entrance to the pond lab. And uh, on the ground around this area, there's also some more uh, sunken bones and koi fish scales that you might want to pick up. Okay, now we're in the pond lab. So there's four doors in this room, but most of them are locked. So let's go through this green one. On the right, there's a body of water that this just leads back table. out to that room with the two chests that we were in earlier. Not sure we'll be seeing so continuing through, soon. we've got a document on the table and a piece of brittle quartzite. And if you go around this corner, there's another chest with some marble in it. 
And over here, we've got a locked door, body of water, and that's the room we want to get in. So let's equip our slime lantern, what do we have and we'll swim time? through here. Down through the hole in the floor. We'll search that chest, get some quartzite. Swim over this branch. If we can, it's a bit tricky. Here we go. Up through this hole. And instead of swimming straight, we want to swim down. We'll get our acorn shovel and break through some of this clay. And there's the second scabby piece. Ginger spice scheme. So we'll swim back up and continue. And on the left here, hidden in the corner, is the koi figurine. And up here we should surface in the room that we saw through the window before. So over here on the table we've got a tape and a couple Dr. of granola Tom bars. We'll activate this computer. That will open another senior. door in the room Almost earlier. We've got a document here and some pieces of brittle marble. And we're back out to where we were. So if we go back through to this room, we've got an ARCR, is it? Or Taze T? Taze T, I think. Yep. There we go, get some signs from him. And now this door is open behind us. So let's go through there. And up here on this table we've got some more granola bars and more fibre bandages. In here we've got a bunch of ARCRs and taste teas, so we'll take those out. Okay, and that has given us the gold ARCR card. So that's good. Just looking around this room, we've got a chest there, a document, surveyor scanner, and we've got some water there. Make sure to drink some of that. And we can analyze some things here. This rotten slime lantern before that runs out. And some raw tadpole meat. Okay, we've got a little piece of brittle quartzite there. So heading upstairs. Up here we've got the super chip and the duper disc too. And we've got a tape there as well. This time you've got so activating this computer will open up these dome doors here above us. And around the edge we've got these muscle sprouts. You'll definitely want to pick all of those up. These are used for making beefy smoothies to give you extra heel bonus to your smoothies. Very very useful. It's kind of annoying to get back here so you'll make sure you want to get as much of those as you can. And just to the left of the entrance as we come in, we've got a scabby piece there. The shallows scheme. Okay, and heading through this door brings us to this room. We've got raw signs over there. And we've got a hole in the floor filled with water. That will lead us back out into the pond. More marble there. We're not quite ready to leave yet. There's a couple of doors back here that we haven't done. Let's open this one with the button. Okay, that leads back into the room with the bed, so that's all joined up. And then we've got this last one here. With some taste teas in it, so let's take care of those. Okay, and we'll just check the room to see if there's anything in it. Absolutely nothing. 
but at least we've cleared it all out. So now we're ready to go. Let's jump down this hole, swim up the bend, and this takes us out to the pond. So now we're at the oak tree at night. We don't like being at the oak tree at night. So let's try to get home as quickly and as safely as possible. And that is why we don't go to the oak tree at night. Miraculously, I did manage to survive that and get home safely. So let's head to bed. Now we're back at the oak lab in daylight this time. Let's give nice Burgle the super How chip. I help you? Did I knew I could? 2000 raw science for that. that let's find out what it unlocked. Point Foundation, Curved Bases, Cookbook Pond, Sign Set, Science. Not great. But we've got this duper disc too. Let's put that in. And that should increase our processing limit to 2000 raw signs. That's good, but it's also not really necessary right now. So we're not quite done in the pond yet. We still need to find the mossy key to open the sunken chest. So for that we are going to need the slime lantern and probably the bone trident because there's going to be a lot of diving bell spiders where we're going. Okay, so we want to go all the way back to where we were. From this lily pad, swim all the way down to the broken pipe. All the way through these currents. And then we're going to swim behind this current and directly down. You'll see all these mossy bits here indicating the cave entrance. So in here there's going to be a few diving bell spiders, so let's take care of them. Okay, let's continue on. When we reach the end of the cave, there'll be a lot more diving bell spiders there. So let's take care of them as well. All right, so if we turn around here, just leaning against this branch, there's the mossy key. Make sure you get some bubbles before you go. We'll swim all the way back out. There are some more sunken bones and koi fish scales on the way, so make sure you pick some of those up. And over here is the sunken chest. So let's get that open. Inside we've got the sunken outpost auxiliary chip and a mega milk molar. So let's head back to Burgle to give him the chip. Hello there! How can I help you today? Ah, more 2,500 raw signs for that. That's a good one. Let's see what it's unlocked. The Splat Burst recipe, Fin Flops upgrade, and Diving Lantern upgrade. That's pretty good, especially the Splat Burst recipe. We'll definitely need that. And we also picked up a Mega Milk Molar. So let's see what we can do with that. Max consumable stack size, max resource stack size, and max arrow stack size. Probably at the moment we need the max arrow stack size the most, increased from 20 to 25. So let's go with that. And with that, I think we're pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Join me in the next one where I'll be exploring the Haze Lab. See you then.